Okay, so I'm pretty sure we all just saw the reveal trailer for Min Min, right? And so, you know, I was like, you know what, I used to kind of try a little bit. So, you know, I want to give my take on how I feel Min Min is as a character. So, you know, first of all, I will say her in-game model is amazing. I really like what they did. And uh, I kind of guessed it. My prediction was between Twintail and Min Min. Uh, Twintail was only because one, we didn't have a female character, like female DLC character, and there was no uh, black characters in the game. That was my only reasoning behind that. It was I thought that bef I thought that way before this movement when they said it was going to be an arms character. I'm like it's Twintail or Min Min, one of the two. And Min Min, because she's actually the most popular character in all of ARMS. So, uh, you know, a little the more that you know type thing, right? So right now, I have it pulled up here. Um, I watched the thing with everyone. And so, like, um, I know what I really find cool is that you actually control both of her arms. One with A and one with B. I find that kind of disorientating, though. Because as a GameCube controller user, uh, you know, the A button is massive on a GameCube controller. Which, you know, what makes sense. Because typically, you know, any attack that you want to do is bound to the A button. But now, with Min Min, it flat out says now that uh, you control her right arm with the B button. And my B button, you know, it's a small red button. Nowhere near the size of my large green A button. So, you know, it's, it's going to be, like, slightly disorientating. But, you know, I feel like if I'm going to actually pick up this character, I'll spend enough time with it to fully understand. Uh, what I noticed she has something similar to is Robin. Uh, right here. It says you can actually input smash attacks in the air. Robin doesn't have actual aerial smash attacks. But his Levin Sword... It has the power of his smash attacks in just his aerials. So I found that kind of weird because like she just has normal aerials and then aerial smash attacks. That's kind of cool to me. Um, I say that now, but then I'm going to get shield poked with from my head from a freaking F smash in the air. And I'm going to be real upset about it. <laughs> I, I can already see it. But you know, it's going to be it's pretty cool. It's uh, definitely changing up the pace of the game. If any top player picks this up, it's gonna force a change in the meta if this character happens to be okay. You know what I'm saying? So, smash attacks in the air, pretty cool. Um, controlling both arms, that's also pretty dope. You know, it's just gonna be weird as, you know, being a GameCube controller user. Another thing, you can bend it. That's pretty cool. I do like the bending aspect. It's kind of like what you can do is just angling. But the difference between angling and bending is that if it hits the ground, it'll pop right back up. So that's kind of cool. So you can go for like a really awkward shield poke, I guess. Let's say just their foot is showing. Like I feel like you could bounce it off the ground. And like if you like see here, like bounce up and then like poke their shield if their foot was like right here. I think maybe you could do something like that. I don't know. You know, maybe I'm thinking a little too in depth with this. But you never know, right? This is all speculation. So, you know, that's pretty cool. And then angling up and down is pretty dope. Uh, angling up for definitely shield poking the head. Definitely going to work on some characters. Maybe not Game & Watch. Mm, probably characters who shield can get, you know, poked easily. So then, so here, this, this right here, I find this astounding. So you can extend both arms to both sides. Let me see if I can find that. Oh, so before I get to that, consecutive smash attacks. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, just one, two? I mean, it really doesn't seem that bad. But if you have the, uh, the big, the big ball one. And, like, the dragon plus the big ball. I, I need to know how much shield damage that does. Because let's say you're sitting at half shield. You get hit with the dragon, you're fine. But then the ball hits you as a shield break see what i'm saying so like that could be really really good i don't know but it also could be just really really bad because her nothing she really does is that safe on shield because everything is pretty laggy 
say she can, you know, she has to bring her arms all the way back. So everything she does is pretty laggy, actually. So I, I see that. But I'm, I can see this as a real shield breaking opportunity. I don't know how I feel about that. And then, I mean, maybe this won't be as broken as I'm thinking. I don't think it's going to be broken. But I think it's going to be really good, though. Especially if you can get, like, a hard read. So, like, yeah, shooting out which arm first, that's kind of cool. This, this bugs me. But not as, not to the degree that it should. Uh, I'm a Joker main, if you did not know. So, my Arsene Tetsurkan, Tetsurkan, Jesus, Tetrakon actually probably still would hit Min Min if she's close enough. But most counters will just miss her, like, completely. And that, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, every character has to have something that makes them good, but I feel like this kind of, this character really just invalidates Little Mac, you know what I'm saying? Not like, not like Little Mac had a place in the meta, because he doesn't, unfortunately, unless Zero's playing him, which then, he's like a top tier god for some reason, but, yeah, no, so like, with the ease of just dodging counters like this, you can't really get punished if you're at a far enough distance for just spamming smash attacks. It's kind of like Olimar, you know? Olimar, his whole gameplay revolves around spamming up and down, up and side smash. So, you know, I feel like that's probably going to be a lot of what Min Min players do. But, you know, it's, uh, like Sakura I will say soon, it's super easy to jump over. Yeah, so here, like, that's, what is that, like a short hop? I, th I genuinely think that's a short hop. That is a short hop. You can easily just short hop over her dash smash. And like, let's say your Marth with long reaching hitboxes, short hop fair, that'll definitely tip her and put you, put Min Min in extreme disadvantage because she hates being up close. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of here are my strengths and here are my weaknesses type character. It's pretty obvious, but you know, I feel like good players will play around it and bad players will fall for it. You know what I'm saying? So like, what we got here? I mean, yeah, no, so above, that was gonna be my one of my other talking points in this video. <laughs> Coming from above, it doesn't seem like Min Min really has anything to do besides her up smash, which is really, really, really fast. Because her up smash also counts as a reflector, which I will show later in this video. But it looks like it comes out like mad fast, like frame four or five, like that quickly. Her up tilt is also like an up air kick, so, I mean, you can maybe use that as an anti-air, but, like, with disjointed hitboxes, like, Marth, uh, well, I'm not gonna start listing characters, all the sorty characters in the game definitely won't get hit by that because of the disjointed hitbox and will punish Min Min. So, yeah. Uh, so, what is this? Okay, so these are the special moves. So, the arm change. I actually really like this mechanic. So Ram Ram, as Sakura explains, is basically the light version of the dragon. So it's a lighter and more maneuverable. It's like, it's basically the strength versus the dexterity build, right? So dexterity, a lot of movement, but takes a lot more hits, the middle class, and then the strength, right? So the dragon is the middle of the road, you know, middleweight, heavy hit, you know what I'm saying? Like nothing special. Well, it does have something special, but there's nothing special about it. It can bend a little bit up and down, but that's about it. The uh, Ram Ram can bend a lot. It, well, no, it doesn't bend a lot. What it does is it extends and it has a disjointed hitbox that rolls around, right? So that's really good for edge guarding, uh, anti-airing if they're far away, you know, catching someone who just likes to empty hop a lot. I to see that being pretty good. Uh, so, you know, maybe I don't know how often players will switch arms, which you know, probably pretty often like how uh, Shulk players switch Monados pretty quickly. I can see that. So that's the Ram Ram, right? I, I like it. It can, Sakurai shows here that it can really be used to like catch edge, catch like linear recoveries like Ryu's. I think like Ryu, Ken, and Terry, they'll have a hard time recovering against Min Min. Like look at that, that is, that is rough. Um. The other one is Megawatt. That's the name of it. I couldn't think of it. Megawatt basically is just a hard hitter. Like, I'm going for the KO. Like, 
I guess essentially Shulk going into Smash Monado. I like you. Your stock needs to go now. So while the Ram Ram was fast and light, the Megawatt is slow and heavy, and it hits like a truck. Um, pretty sure Sakurai shows it. Yeah, but so if he shows it here, 46%, and Mario dies, like genuinely just dies. Now, I don't know how close the Black Zones are on Min Min's stage, I could not tell you, but 46% is not a lot of percent, it's really not, especially because she can hit you with two consecutive smash attacks, let's say they both do around 15 to 20%, you're pretty much near kill percentage already, so you know, that's... I'm not gonna say that's broken, that's OP or anything. I'm just gonna say, in a vacuum, that looks pretty good, right? In a vacuum. Because we're seeing this on controlled opponents. They're not moving around. I don't know how that Mario's DI was, or if he was DIing. Because it looked like he went kind of up. And going up, you can live a little bit longer if you go just straight horizontal. <laughs> so, you know, it hits ridiculously hard. Um. So, you know, the dragon, like I said, it's the middle road, right? Hits kind of, hits decently hard, it's decently fast. It's not as fast as Ram Ram, but doesn't hit as hard as Megawatt. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you can use dragon on both left and right arms. So, this laser thing, I don't know how I feel about it. So, you can smash attack and then hold down the button. So, like, if I do forward turn, I should go right in A. And then I hold down A, it'll shoot out a little laser, right? I mean, I guess that could be used, like, how I see that is like an EX from, like, Mortal MK11 or, like, Street Fighter to keep a move safe on shield. I think that'll make the move a little bit more safe on shield because it'll probably add more hit stun. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm not super sure, but that's what I see. There's also, um, a way to power up the laser with, um with her grab but so like right here what does he do here yeah this this is what i mean this right here oh don't let you get be at the ledge i'm gonna sit right here and just pray you roll no i'm just kidding but like so here you can see she's controlling pretty much the whole of the whole stage right i'm not gonna say that's broken because that's a short hop above like you could easily just short hop and I know the end lag on this move is going to be horrendous, right? But catch someone lacking, like you know, you know, when you, we've all been called lacking when you see a Belmont super far away from the ledge. You're like, oh, I'm gonna just normal get up because you know you forget how far the range truly is. And sitting at pretty much center stage like that, I can see that happening more than once in a set where they're gonna be like, oh, I can normal get up here because there's no way that's gonna hit me and then they get hit by the back hit of whatever this move is. I'm assuming that's, I honestly don't know what that is because her down smash is a split. So I'll figure that out when the character releases. I could not tell you what that move is. And then they also can shoot lasers here. So let's say you get normal get up and you shield it and you drop shield, well you might get hit by the laser, you know? It's like forcing you to stay in shield and forcing you to stay back. So that's pretty cool. I think that's F smash or jab. I, I don't know. So here's her grab, right? It's 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 long. It's a long grab. I will say that. So here, if you grab and then throw, which that up throw looks like, if the base knock, if the knockback scale is high enough, that's a kill throw. It's very much a kill throw. But if it's not, then it's not. Probably she might have a good back throw, maybe forward throw, down throw probably for combos. But basically, so if you grab your opponent and throw them, it charges the dragon, as you can see right here, right? It's on fire. And if you charge this dragon, basically, instead of the normal puny laser, you get a huge giant laser, right? Um, here, it, there's a normal one, and there's a powered up one. Now, I don't think we've seen how much damage it does, but quote soccer right here, it's swirling to, it's much more powerful. I don't know what he means by that, even when he sat down and did the gameplay against the Kirby and the Captain Falcon CPU, he never used it. So, 
you know we don't know just yet if it's like if the laser does like 5 to 10 and then the other one does 15 to 20 that is pretty good but you know we'll have to see what the damage is on it so you know it's pretty cool and then her so her um aerials right so she pretty much has clouds nair honestly right here with the dragon i would say that's pretty much just clouds nair respectively quick you know maybe like frame four or five probably six honestly and not much landing lag no not bad yeah quite standard so the ram ram is a lot faster like lordy that move is quick like look at that and pretty much no landing lag yeah. and then uh uh what's the other thing called i don't remember it's um megawatt it's a lot slower but i have a feeling it'll actually kill that ledge at like around 70. i i hope it doesn't it very well could but you know you, you never know so i mean maybe maybe not i don't know it's slow but it hits hard right makes sense it's like ganondorf right so because you can control both of her arms i don't know if you could like double near uh they can okay they can't be used at the same time so you can't like double near but you can nair, and I think if, maybe if you have enough time, like let's say you're using Ram Ram and Dragon, you can maybe like nair with the Ram Ram, and if that misses, then your opponent pushes you, you can nair with like the Dragon, and maybe like, that could be like a get off me tool, or like you could go with like the read, like let's say you've done that a couple times, and so they push you on the first one, and you know, like let's say they push you, you nair with the, the Dragon, and then, it misses but then you hit them with a megawatt which will do more damage like this character can be really fun if you play it right you know what i'm saying so she also has kicks so her rapid jab is actually just a kick which you know which surprises me i will say that i like the animation of the kick it's pretty cool actually i like the low sweep as well i never really saw that in arms but <laughs> i mean i also didn't really play arms like that so whatever right yeah so this is her up tilt it's pretty quick and i think this is like her only if you're above me get off me tool besides her up smash it's kind of quick but you know i don't know how i mean that's a that looks like a decent hitbox right here i don't know we'll see if it's a lasting hitbox that would be really good because she can't handle anything coming above her i hope it's a lasting hitbox you know for like men players and maybe you know maybe me i don't know so far i mean i enjoy the character she looks kind of fun to play but i don't know just yet um you know if that's a lasting hitbox that could be really good because it'll stuff out a lot of attempts of people trying to approach her from the air this doesn't her up smash doesn't seem to be a kill option maybe at like around 145 it might be but until then it doesn't seem to be a kill option um, it's really fast. Yeah, so now her, uh, up smash is, it's really, really quick. So, you know, maybe it could really be used as a get off me tool. But, I know why it's quick. Because, as we're about to see here, it's a reflector. Um. Um. I don't exactly know how I feel about that, because people with like a really good reaction time which I, I do happen to have one myself that'll be good for them but with smash online and um internet problems it's gonna be very hard because you know you have to wait for the inputs and everything but if you get the read on someone whew, that'll, that'll feel real nice I'm, I'm not gonna lie that'll, that'll feel really nice if you get the read on someone you know that's pretty good. I like that it reflects it. You know, it makes people, um, makes people think twice before just shooting a projectile at you, right? And, you know, it's a pretty fast move, so I know why it's so fast. Dash attack doesn't really seem that good. You know, I've seen better. It reminds me of like the ZSSs. I mean, it's really fast startup, but probably very negative on shield though. Down tilt reminds me of Cloud's and Joker's slide. It's probably, I honestly think maybe it could lead into up tilt at low percents, up tilt into up air. Her up air is 
like basically Terry's if you know that off the top of your head definitely great combo move there it is right there so I would say maybe yeah just that maybe that into up air string and her down smash is a split I don't understand why it has as much in lag as it does I mean yeah I mean I guess it's really cool to do like the little break dance thing I feel like her down smash should have been her arms going to both sides like just like like real quick that's what I would thought I also don't make the game though but so you know <laughs> whatever right her up air is like basically Terry's I'd say it looks like a pretty good combo tool she has a stall and fall like uh, a bunch of characters in this game really chic ZSS I can't really think of any more off the top of my head but so yeah no uh, it makes sense it makes sense because this character wants to run away and get as much distance as possible so being as far away as possible from your opponent basically getting to the ground and moving as quickly as possible makes sense for this character right or fully does um yeah changing timing doing that so her up B on the ground so this is actually kind of cool it's completely I don't know if there's any other character that has this but her up B changes based on if she's on the ground or not. I honestly don't know if any character has this besides her, but so her up B on the ground, she'll use her arms to shoot herself up. The longer you hold down, the farther you go, right? Makes sense. This is to is apparently used to escape bad situations because there's inv invincibility upon startup. Not much, not like Joker with Arsene, not uh, Wings of Rebellion invincibility, right? Not that much. But there's some, which uh, it showed. Let me see if I can find it. So, yeah, here. There's some invincibility. Doesn't seem like a lot. I say maybe 10 to f maybe ten frames at the most. 10 frames of invincibility. But that's it's the grounded version of it, right? So, you know, that's fine. Uh, but when you're in the air, she actually has a tether recovery, right? So, I mean, I'm okay with tethers because, you know, I'm a Joker main. I know a lot of people who hate tethers. So, it looks like a very, pre, you know, that looks like a respectable link tether. You know, and it also doesn't seem to function like Ivy Swords where you have to be higher or on the same plane to grab the ledge. It seems like, you know, a regular tether. I don't know what's wrong with Ivy Swords tether. It bothers me and it gets me killed a lot. I'm just kidding. But, um, you yeah, know, it looks like a regular tether, and I think it doesn't it doesn't drag down like by lift, unfortunately, which I really wish it would have. But I think how, like, Joker's is used, where you could try to hit someone that's at, like, the top of the blast zone and, like, try to knock them into it. I think that's the only way this is going to be used to, so, like, down tilt, up, up tilt, or, like, up smash, and then jump up air, up air, up B. You know, something like that, maybe kind of like reminds you of like a Mario combo so that's yeah and that's about it for this character besides the final smash which is uh, actually pretty cool looking I'll just play it here and I'll shut up real quick it's pretty cool right so this is my take on the arms character. I, I'll say she, Min Min looks really, really cool. Matches the aesthetic of arms well. And you know, I'm actually decently hyped for the character. First, I wasn't really, you know, I was like really a third party rep, really Nintendo. I don't, I don't think we need that. But you know what? I'm down. I'm down Nintendo, I'm down. So hopefully, she turns out fine. I don't care if she's like top tier or not because I play Ganondorf almost every day and a lot of people consider him one of the worst characters in Smash Ultimate. I always say he's a mid tier at the worst. I mean at the best. But you know, this is just some random guy on the internet voicing his opinion. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you next time.